it, uh, and it worked. And that's what we were doing. We were building a sport called hot rod. And today, of course, it's called drag racing. But essentially, we were laying the groundwork for the drag racing that we have today. Well, the Coffeyville, Kansas, in 1954, uh, was a lot like uh, TV's rendition of Walton's Mountain. Young people had the same <coughs> love affair with automobiles. Not all of us had automobiles at that time, but uh, we were enough amongst the group that uh, we could race occasionally on a country road and meet at the park and the bandstand and play our radios and enjoy our music. Uh, my first impressions of the safety safari when they flew in the coffee hill was. Uh, I was the man in charge was very business uh, They had a resident gourmet and Eric Rickman and uh, the resident Pie Piper and Chick and a, a marvelous interesting group from the big city. <laughs> the response was marvelous and of course I say Chick Cannon was the resident Pie Piper the young people loved him. It's an old VCR tape. Wherever he went, there was always a Gathering crowd speed. of young fellows behind him. I think because uh, of Bud Coon's uh, background in Pretty interesting. Uh, and his ability to deal with, with the, the early days of hot rodding, uh, there was NHRA no and all that good stuff. At all. Drag racing. Three and a half degrees. That's because the fire's going there. It's probably 58 or so right now. But that fire's going good. Free firewood. Every bit of my firewood's been free. I haven't paid a nickel for it all winter. And man, we've got so much. Maybe tomorrow, I'll drop in the daylight, and take a video of all the tubs of firewood that we have back there. It's amazing. Safety safari idea was born of a very visible need. There's our frame in the bag there for the new uh, tarp or the new portable shelter. We have uh, still have the, the giant tarp to go over it. We'll put that up well, in a day or two before it starts raining again. It'll be nice. Makes it really dark in the office, but that's okay. You see that thing back there? I think I've shown it before. It's a uh, an antique drying unit. Clothes dryer. And uh, all those poles, there's like 11 of them, and they all fold out, and you can hang towels or jeans or whatever and put it in front of the fire pit. And let me tell you, they dry fast. I have it on Craigslist, but nobody seems to be interested. That's okay, though. I don't sell it, I'll keep it. Peterson, uh, I think I only paid a dollar or two for it at a yard sale. Set up this National Hot Rod Association thing. And Didn't even know what it was when I bought it. Editor of Hot Rod, and at the same time was the guiding light operator. The VCR and the DVD and player down there. The Got these tubs. And, uh, that tub right there is full of VCR tapes. Rod, and One the over there has DVDs. And the blue one behind it, I think that's got both DVDs and videotapes. But uh, those two gray tubs, that one and the other one, I got right here in Oregon City from a guy, oh gosh, only a mile from my house, not even that maybe, gave them to me for free. Uh, 
I had them on Craigslist. The uh, said he transported them all from Indiana and had already seen all of them. He didn't know why he did, <laughs> when he moved. Gary brought them with him, but whatever. And so I got a lot of good videos. Some I've seen already. Who cares? Usually they're worth watching again anyway. I haven't seen this one before, though. Gathering speed. This is interesting. Watched one last night, The End of the World, from the same producer, director, whatever, as uh, Independence Day. Boy, there was a lot of stuff blowing up. Finally, the world blew up. The whole darn world blew up. But the young couple that were the stars of the movie, they escaped by following the space aliens who blew up the world. And, uh, they went in the uh, uh, transporter beam thing, went to their planet, I guess. And then as they showed the Earth exploding, everybody gone, this whole thing, boom. And uh, so that was the end of the movie. That's a pretty good one. I think it was made in the 70s. Had a lot of 70s cars in it, man. Some of these VCR tapes have good movies on them. It's amazing. I need to get some kind of stand or something or make something to hold my cell phone when I take these videos. It's really hard to hold it steady. Another project. Uh, scale, had everything to run a strip like this. 